I know. Come here. Yep, there's the man I'm looking for. This man I need to talk to for, uh, who would probably save our lives and, and made a doctor take care of us while we we're about to fuck out. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. Yep. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. Yeah, say that shit was a right job like too, any other. Way. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? Great no honourable man should yep. touch them. That's the executioner's job. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. No. Nope. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding yeah. heart came up here in the, the idea game. Lee Miller's kind of thieves build. to disturb a corpse. Never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? If it's not alive, you can still not they can start stealing. Wow. Yeah, but basically, I remember like the Millers on this game were like kind of like the thieves, kind of like a Skyrim, where like you tell them like a secret code, like it's a marking that you know that insinuate that yeah, they're fellow thieves as well. But yeah, I think I've already heard more than I need to. Let's do it. So we You've got the tongue of the devil himself. This, this game. You tried hard enough. I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. All right, y'all. Well, this here deal DLC we going we can do. We got you know, <clears throat> we got like the one we we're gonna say like a Teresa, uh, you know how how she, that went ever went down for her. A woman lot where she you know obviously when she was being attacked and like how she survived. Um, Band of Bastards like more later in the game. Uh, this one right here is like uh, I think this is where no. Fire sex. Oh, I, 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 I remember that game with a fucking um, with our character. It's Torment Two, Ashes. Um, that's like what later in the game as well. And you know, trying to be, trying to be a scare around the, scare around the world, or whatever. But we might, we'll, we might do DLC at the end of the game. But right now, let's, let's see the touch of Teresa real quick. What does the miller have to say about it? He can't stand him. <laughs> How's there he is. Every time he sees him, he starts shouting that he's a useless mouth to feed and that'll skin him. Jesus. Look, look, right there, back, back there. He didn't his heart when <laughs> Mutt brought a hare from the woods. He was happy to eat it, but it didn't change his mind. I could have a word with him. Mm, that would be a waste of time. How's he doing? I mean, that's not like, a that's not like a relationship how courage and used to have. I slipped in something good dog. now and again when Uncle wasn't looking. You won't starve to death then. Stupid dog, you made me look bad. You're doing quite well then. So, I thought maybe you might take him with you. Let's do me? it. I'll take the boy. I'm sure the two he's of you will get he, on he, he, he's, he's a dog, handsome fella and y lovable. He'll be easy for combat, I'd be very me. happy if you had him. But we never had it. Look, look at him. He's right there. Right there. Look we at never him. needed he's one. A cute boy. Come on. He's got no one. Yeah, I'll take him. Look, look at him. Oh, look at him. Uh, look at him. All right. <laughs> I'll take him. He can keep me company on my travels. Thanks, Henry. Go and get him then. He's sniffing around somewhere here. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry. Son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of the Voyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? Uh, yeah, 
it, Tom, let's be honest. I may not look the part, but I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then, go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Thank you. I see, yeah, yeah, I see, there's like, like, like it's like, basically, you know, refuge from, um, when we, yeah, most of our, most of our people, you know. There's a boy. Oh, there's a boy. Oh, there's a boy. Hal! What are you doing here? I took you for dead. Oh, it's a long story. What about you? How did you get out of Scalitz? You wouldn't believe it. A frightful storm broke that night, and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Sir Ratzik would use the storm as cover for our escape. Mm -hmm. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice while no one watched. In the morning, when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. Yeah. I wish I could have seen their faces. What do you want here? Oh, look who's alive. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? You saw him, my friend. You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get out of here. They can be reasonable. Come on. You can't avoid this forever, you know. Of course I can. It's you who can't piss me off forever. Is. Do you really want to make me angry? Do you really think that's wise? No, I don't. Fine, I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got. But maybe I could... Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. Should, should I? Nah, I, I don't want to do a lot of work. Huh? Hell yeah. The hell with that. I want my money, and right now. Nah, no, thanks for wishing. Then, I don't know what I can do for you. Nah, thank you. About that money. If you like, maybe I could tell If you forgive my. Alright, talk to him. Where are you money? Alright then. Come on, it's mine, nigga. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from. Ah, oh, come on. I ain't having Very shit. well then. Talk. When we were running from Scalets, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dovecot. Under a dovecot? And that's it? That's all I know. How many dovecots could there be in Scalets? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. Now where is the iris? Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh shit, there's nothing there either. Damn. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. Yeah, but I try to tell you, see how I can actually do it. See if I'm like that. Hi, I talk. Hi, y'all. Come here. What's up, Pepe the Pew? Good day to you. There's no ring. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Oh, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Yep. Clever lad. No choice. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past the lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. <laughs> I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly. 
and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. This nigga. <laughs> you show me, you show me, child, yo, brute force. You should, you should learn how to pick a lot, subtly, like popping a bitch pussy. Pepe the Pew, where are you at? Pepe? Pepe! Pachette! Pachaco! Where are you fucking at us? Where you at? Hello, good sir. I'm making some bread. What's up, man? Alright, bro, here you go. I got the ring. Here you go. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring and we'll take the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else. Man, he's still so much to flip it and get back to him, I guess. Well, that could be useful. You'll buy stolen goods from me. Thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. Yeah, that's right now. But yeah. That's it for you guys. I'll talk to y'all. Peace.